the North and South, by Skyler Jablonski, Jordan Varela, Janessa Mills, and Dylan Beverly. The North and South have had their disagreements, one of the biggest is slavery. Slavery was cruel in the South. Slave were treat, slaves were treated as property. There were many people who acted against slavery, such as Harriet Tubman. She escaped slavery and then went back to free about 300 slaves. If you did escape slavery, it was probably using the Underground Railroad. It was a network of abolitionists who helped slaves, who helped slaves by giving them shelter, food, and water. The South believed in sectionalism, that each day should be independent. North thought everyone should work together as a nation. This idea was called national. South did not like this idea because of the profits being made from cotton and slavery. Cotton production was even faster and bigger with Eli Whitney's cotton gin. Cotton production was so big at one point, Natchez, Mississippi had more millions than any other place in the world. While, while the South was making profits off cotton, the North was building factories and industrializing. The North was becoming more popular and the population in the North was going up. More jobs were available and there was money to be made. Working in a factory was not a beat. Not a easy thing to do. There were many injuries, and and there were long work hours, hours and low wages. Since the South really didn't agree with the North very much, the North was more advanced than the South. The slavery was finally ended, and the North and South became one, and formed the United States of America.